so the final thing is I'm just going to show you how to paint a real quick scene using what we've done so for example we can paint using our light blue it's a bit contaminated so it's looking a bit grey but it doesn't matter uh, light blue here let's get some more more water more pigment and here we're going to have a mountain and pure water and let's just soften this mountain you can see I've got a little bit of red in there perhaps perhaps you can see that but it looks quite nice actually gives it a bit of a rose look and then I might have the some things in the distance that I would paint over this but because I it takes a long time for this to dry I'll just paint them a bit below and um, this is background the next thing is going to be mid ground so you want it to be a bit warmer so what we're going to do is things in the distance get cooler and bluer and things closer to you get warmer and sort of redder so like that it looks closer so this is a bit redder and a bit warmer and I'm going to do our farmhouse hopefully need a lot of water there we go it's beginning to work okay oh maybe this is a little bit coming out from the building and maybe here too we might have something coming out and all kinds of bits and things by the side of the house helps to fix it into the paper and then a bush and something like that normally I do this a little bit higher up and then hopefully that's not too symmetrical else it will not look natural there we go and uh, here I might do a bit of a tree so I should wait for this to dry but a quick mark like that using the flat of the brush and then a bit of a stronger mix using the point dab this on some tissue so it's not too wet and let's have yeah and if the marks are too strong get your tissue and just press down and it softens it like that that's pretty good probably should have done that stronger and then in the foreground we're going to have some maybe cherry blossom tree so let's make a space for that <laughs> which we can do just like that I'm not sure if that's such a an elegant way of painting but there you go and once again that same technique like that we could even do a little bit of splatter if it goes over here which you don't want tissue to the rescue and then we want to do a bit of shadow a shadow side we will pretend the sun's over here and the light's hitting here there we go do not overdo that right from the beginning you want the brush to be really rough making rough marks that look like leaves and then here we go with our branches 
and trunk like that not the best tree I've ever done but good enough and then let's do some scumming here like that there we go looks almost like some bizarre snow scene <laughs> there we go and um, we can even do maybe um, some uh, flicky strokes going up perhaps so make these quite strong and maybe here something like that and a little bit of splatter why not And you see how you can create these layers, the distance, then the mid-ground needs to be a bit stronger actually. And then more the foreground and then right in the foreground here. So I don't know what's going to be over here. <laughs> Could be a field or something. but Or a path. Yeah, this could be a, a big path here. Um, and there you go. Um, I'll show you that maybe darken it a little bit more so normally you shouldn't do this once you've done it then it's then you've got to let it dry and then do it but just to show you that it should be a bit darker and there we go like that now you can see it really begin to work so the important thing is is things in the distance it the they're, they're bluer and they're more weaker, more watery mix and cooler. And as things come closer, they get um, warmer and the mix gets stronger normally. And um, yeah, I think that's it. So please have a go and uh, see how it works for you and have fun.